Assalamualaikum. Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about second year zoology practical exam that is being conducted in 2022. This key is provided by Board of Intermediate Education, Karachi. And according to this key, your practical exam is of 7 marks. As in first year, your zoology practical exam was of 8 marks, but in second year, it comprises of only 7 marks. These 7 marks are given to you in the form of point. 1 mark is equal to 10 points. So, 7 marks are equal to 70 points altogether. There are 5 questions. From these 5 questions, you have to attempt the first 3 questions in your examination copy. As question number 4 is of Viva and question number 5 is your certified journal. Let's go into the details of max distribution according to the Board of Intermediate Education Karachi. Starting from the first question that is of dissection. In the dissection, you have to perform the practical. You have to dissect the given animal, whether you are given an earthworm or a cockroach or a frog. And you have to draw a labeled diagram of the given animal. The label diagram comprises of 5 points and your performance comprises of all 15 points. And how you would get all these 15 points? The details are on your screen. So whatever the part is given in this list, you have to properly show to your examiner. Like in the male frog, you have to expose testis, kidney, was a differentia, was a differentia, urinary bladder and cloacal opening. While in the female, you have to expose ovaries, kidneys, oviducts and coiled up to the oviduct funnel and urinary bladder along with the cloacal opening again. So you will get all the 15 points when you properly dissect out the animal and show it to your examiner or internal examiner. And you have to draw a well labeled diagram for all the other 5 points. So, altogether you will get 2 marks, it means 20 points. In the same way, if you are asked to dissect out brain and spinal cord of frog or reproductive system of earthworm, you have to expose all the parts clearly. In the brain and spinal cord, complete brain up to the olfactory lobe and a complete proper spinal cord is required. You have to display the brain and spinal cord on your slide to the examiner and you have to draw a well labeled diagram. So again the marks distribution will remain the same as the label diagram is of 5 points and your dissection, your performance uh, is of 15 points. In the reproductive system of earthworm, you have to expose spermatica, oviducts, vasa differentia, seminal vesicle and prostate gland and ducts. And again, you have to draw a well labeled diagram of the reproductive system of earthworm. During labeling, try not to miss out any of the part which you have exposed during the dissection. They are the important ones. So if you miss any, of, any one of them, you will lose your points. The last system which could come in your uh, dissection is nervous system of cockroach in the nervous system of cockroach there is simple tip you just remove the digestive system of cockroach which you have learned in first year so the nervous system will be exposed and carefully cut the um, upper part so the brain is exposed and with the help of forcep just open it up and the brain is in front of you so you have to expose brain circumesophageal connectives of all thoracic and abdominal ganglia subesophageal ganglia and complete nerve cord and in your examination copy you have to draw a well labeled diagram a common question in viva is asked where the ganglions are how many ganglions are there and uh, show me uh, show examiner will ask that uh, show me the thoracic ganglion or abdominal ganglion so all these questions are important so Make sure to completely uh, focus
while doing the practical exam and doing the dissection you have to be very cautious very clear about what you are doing and what's the uh, function of each of the part which you are exposing now coming towards the question number two that is temporary slide preparation you will be provided by a material you have to identify the material given gave one point you have to write down the characteristics of the given material in your copy at least five characteristics and you will gain three points you have to mount the material it means you have to prepare the slide and you will gain three points and last you have to in the, at last you have to draw a well labeled diagram and the diagram comprises of three points so all together they are the, uh, the question number two is of 10 points it means you will gain one mark so which material is provided you have done four different type of material for slide preparation first one is striated muscles of cockroach second one is unstriated muscle fiber of frog third one is septal nephridia of earthworm and fourth one is malphigian tubules of cockroach so from all these four materials you will be given one and you have to identify it and write down its characteristics mount the slide and draw a well label diagram and you are done with the question number two question number three is spotting and it comprises of 30 points it means three marks there are altogether three spots two spots are given to you from the skeleton and one spot is from histology or embryology it means a slide is given to you in the spot number three so in the skeleton you have to write down the name of the bone with the name of the animal for example you will write down spot number one is identified as pterygoid of frog or atlas vertebrae of frog or sphenismoid of frog so you have to write down properly the name of the bone along with the name of the animal all right and you have to write down the characteristics three characteristics of that bone its articulation it means with which bone it is joined and the diagram roughly just draw a diagram and label its two to three parts and because you don't have enough time during spotting so the first two spots will be from bones and the third one will be from the part of histology or embryology in the third spot you have to write down complete identification its characteristics and you have to again draw a diagram it would be a bit sketch or a slightly uh, rough diagram and you have to label its major parts here on your screen you can observe that there are a number of bones listed here so from the bones of the skull and the vertebral column the spot number will one will come from the bones of the skull or vertebral column it's mandatory both the bones could not come in spot spotting like in spot number one the bone is from skull and the spot number two is from vertebrae no only one spot could be selected from this section that is appendix a spot number two will come from appendicular skeleton and the list of bones and girdles are here pectoral girdle pelvic girdle humerus radio ulna femur tibiofibula astragalus and calcaneum so it's mandatory to select second spot from this section that is section number two and again you have to write down the name of the bone along with the name of the animal spot number two is identified as pectoral girdle of frog this is the way to write down a proper identification okay last spot that is spot number three will come from appendix b that is of slides slides from the embryology portion and histology portion any one slide is selected and you have to identify the material that is the slide and you have to write down the three characteristics along with the characteristics you have to draw a diagram with a few labelings because all the labelings could not be done in one minute so you just focus to label the basic three parts 
and draw a basic sketch of the particular identified material. Now you are done with your copy work. Question number four is a fiver that will be taken by your external examiner or if he or she is absent then your internal examiner will take your viva basic questions are from the dissection and lastly the certified journal the viva and certified journal both comprises of five five points it means both of them all together makes one mark i think i have made all the points clear to you all if you have any query feel free to question me I will definitely give you answer and please subscribe to my channel and share it as much as you can so all the other students could get benefit from it and my channel could flourish. Thank you so much for watching. Allah Hafiz.